Hi, first graders, it's Mrs. Pear again. I have some more handwriting practice for us. Today, this is exciting. We are going to practice our first lowercase letter of the year. Okay, we are going to practice lowercase c. It's exciting. All right, so again, when we practice our handwriting, it's mostly about the letter that we're practicing, right? Lowercase c, but it's also a good time to practice that name. Okay, so I'm gonna have my name tag here, which is a good idea if you have yours too. You don't need to go get it now, you can wait. Okay, I'm gonna place that right in front of my paper here. And just like always, I am going to take my time and make sure that each letter in my name looks as close as possible to um, my name, each letter in my name place. And my uppercase M goes from the skyline to the grass line. So I'm gonna take my time and make sure that the uppercase M that I make right here does the same thing. Notice how slow I'm going. We need to go slow to show our best work, right? To make our line straight. To make sure they're not too long, too short, okay? Nice and slow. Okay, when you write your name, your name should be written nice and slow too, okay? I also want you to make sure you practice your first name and your last name, okay? And again, this line is so long, you can do it again. Extra practice, we love that. All right, moving on to lowercase c. Lowercase c, let's take a look here in our black box. Lowercase c does not go past the plain line. It fits right in between the grass line and the plane line. It does not go over the plane line. Okay, I also noticed there's just a number one here. That means we write the whole letter okay, without picking up our pencil. Okay, all right. Remember we can trace with marker. And when we trace, we use the tip, tip, tip of our marker. Okay, when we write lowercase c, we start right so a little bit underneath the plane line there. Okay, I wouldn't call it halfway. Just a little bit underneath there. Okay, now here's a really important part. Are you ready? When we begin to write lowercase c, the first direction we go is up. Okay, we have to go up to make sure our c touches that plane line. Okay, I'm going to try to write here so you don't cover my c. Okay, we go up and around. Okay, I'm gonna use pencil so you can see a little better. Okay, we start right there. We go up so our C touches the plane line. We go around, come down. Boop. Okay, it's kind of like you're making a circle, except you're not closing the circle. Okay, see there's the space in between here. Okay, what's really important again is that you go up when you begin. Otherwise, your C will look like this. That's too small, right? Lowercase C goes from the plane line to the grass line. Okay, so the first thing you wanna do is go up and around, down, ta-da. Okay, it's also important when you Finish your C, you are right underneath where you started. If I drew an imaginary line up, it would connect my two lines and it wouldn't make a circle. Okay, so lower state KCs are really round too. Okay, so again, we can trace all of our Cs here. Remember when we trace, we trace so slow that our marker should never really go outside the black line. Okay, that's when you know that you're really taking your time when you're tracing, okay? Then you're gonna come down here and write C's on your own. Remember these black dots are to remind you where to begin. And that really, really important step, that first step, remember we go up, okay? We have to go up and around. Ooh, I made that kind of wide there. Okay, up, down, around, up, down, around. If my C goes past the plane line, 
past the grass line. And I should probably use my eraser again. Oh, even this one, look at, mm, that could have been a little higher there. That's really supposed to go up and touch that plane line, right? Ooh, hmm. that's not right. Cause I remember when I'm done, I'm supposed to end right here, right underneath, right? Okay, that's a mistake that we see a lot. You wanna take your time also, you wanna go up and around. When we practice these in my class, we say that a lot, a lot. We go up and around, up and around. So we always remember to go up and around. Okay, because if you don't go up, your C looks like that and it's too small. Okay, so then you're gonna get your marker, trace your words that begin with C. We have cloud, call, curl, and close. And again, we trace so slow, we never go outside the black line. Okay, and then you're gonna write each word. Now again, when you write each word, there's several letters that are not lowercase c, okay? But I want you to look at each of those letters and think about how tall or short, where are those lines and letters begin and end, okay? So you can make yours look as close as possible to the one above, okay? Nice and slow. Okay, you're gonna do the same thing. Trace, 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 trace. Right, 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 right. Okay, take your time. If you would like to um, circle the C that you think is the best when you are all done, you can do that. We like to do that, that's fun. Okay, all right, so some things to remember. Take your time, don't rush through this. That's kind of a waste of practice. You gotta take your time so you actually get good practice out of this and your handwriting will get better. Okay, all right, take your time. Make sure that you are sitting in a chair. We don't do our handwriting on the floor. We don't do our handwriting on a couch or a bed. You need to sit up tall, feet on the floor in front of you, okay? All right, that's it. So you guys now can grab your handwriting book, your nameplate. Remember, if you don't have your nameplate, you can find somewhere in your house that your name is written really nice, or you could have an adult write it um, really nice using the letters that we use in school up here. Okay. All right. Well, you guys may get to work and I will see you later. Bye.